Hey guys, I got a quick one here for you tonight. I thought I'd do a little bit more of a specific tutorial about a feature I think is like really cool and helpful in Clip Studio Paint, and that's the 3D modeling tool. It's super easy to use. All you gotta do is go into the assets sort of window, materials window, down to the 3D section, hit body type and drag in a male or female model. And right below that, they have some pre-built poses for you too, but I really like pose and stuff myself. And you can just kind of drag the limbs wherever you want to. You can drag the limb themselves, or you can click on it and uh, rotate the joints individually, which I actually prefer doing. I think it gives me a little bit more control while doing it. It's super intuitive to use though. You can also adjust the camera to a couple of various angles. And what I think this feature is like really useful for is when you want to, when you have a specific pose in mind, but it's a pose that's like really hard to find reference for. Or if you want to get a pose that you like that you found that's maybe not in a specific camera angle you want or something like that, this can be a great tool to do it. Uh, the pre-built poses are awesome. They have them <laughs> even specifically for hands. So you can just grab a hand too and, and kind of uh, work with that if you have trouble drawing hands. And then after you have your pose, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can uh, move it to the side and use it as reference. You can redline it. You can really do just about anything you need to. Use it as a lighting map. I've done that before and it's really helpful to know which areas would be lit and which would be in shadow sometimes. And you can see right here, I end up redlining this one. And then I go over that red line with my own sketch so I get sort of the basic pose and the correct foreshortening, but I changed some things around. Like I wasn't too happy with her arm position or her hands and things like that. So I end up changing those around. And I can hear you saying, but Tosi, that's cheating. And I'm here to tell you it isn't. <laughs> no one's taking a test here. What are we cheating at? This is a tool just like a paintbrush tool or, you know, the clone stamp or you know, the lasso. There's, this is just another tool in the arsenal of digital art in the same way that layers are a tool and control Z is a tool. None of these are cheating. They absolutely make your life easier, but they're not cheating. <laughs> Using a reference isn't cheating. Tracing images isn't cheating. It is unethical to, to trace something that you haven't produced and uh, call it your own work. Absolutely. But this is, we're not talking about that right now. If you need help with poses, there's absolutely no shame in, in grabbing a pose and, and redlining it and then, you know, trying to reproduce that pose. And, you know, that's totally fine. You know, there's, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But there is one sort of cautionary tale I would recommend, which is you are possibly potentially cheating yourself out of an educational experience, uh, which is to say, if you're, if you're not taking the time to learn a pose and to draw it and to reproduce it sort of without tracing, then, then you are not getting the full maximal educational uh, sort of reveal and, and thought process from that, which is can be okay. You know, I do that here. <laughs> uh, I'm, I get slightly less educational value out of it, but I just wanted to do a quick goofy sketch. This was just for me. I was just doing it for fun. There's like no harm, no foul, basically. So it, it becomes important then to, to not see this as a crutch and to not overuse it, which is something that can definitely happen. It, it, you just have to use it sparingly. You know, if you're just trying to goof around absolutely if you got a deadline coming up <laughs> you're absolutely going to be using every tool at your disposal to make sure you hit that deadline as long as it's ethical <laughs> again you know you gotta you gotta remain sort of ethical about it and anyway for this new drawing here i'm drawing uh francine who i ended up deciding to call her uh she is an accountant from hell <laughs> and she's She's a demon girl. I love I love drawing demons. They're a lot of fun, and I felt like I hadn't drawn one in a while. So I just wanted to, to make an OC that wasn't a part of All Kill, who's been, you know, consuming a lot of my creative life recently. 
And I just wanted to have some fun and draw a character kind of without restraint and without sort of uh, any burden of, of design choice or anything like that. So I had a lot of fun designing this character and really just kind of choosing colors I didn't work with a lot and sort of themes and stuff I didn't often work with. I love, you know, making like strangely skin colored characters and for this one I decided to go with a, a red which is like the most neutral red. Um, it's like 50%, not, not exactly, I just eyeballed it, but it's like 50% saturation, 50% value and things like that. So, so that was a lot of fun. And then I chose like a heavily contrasting color scheme with her hair and her, uh, you know, eyes. It, it was like analogous and contrasting. So I decided to keep her, her clothes a little bit more on the DL there. Just sort of some muted browns and things like that. Because she had a whole lot of other color going on in the rest of her design. But yeah, that's, that's about it. I had a lot of fun doodling this character. It was just a fun, quick thing. And I thought it'd be nice to show off uh, one of these functions of Eclipse View Paint you might not know existed. It's on both the uh, the cheaper and the pro versions. Um, but yeah, if you found this sort of like quick tip sort of thing helpful, uh, let me know because I will definitely make more of them. Otherwise, I'll be back with another video on Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Peace.